Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are discussing on string uh, command, string packages in Automation Anywhere A360. So we have already covered uh, uh, introduction to A360 message box variables and data types and what are all the types available in Automation Anywhere A360. We are currently we are discussing in string package. So we have already covered a few concepts like uppercase, lowercase, uh, assigning, variable creation, and uh, finding the length of the string and all. So in this lesson, we are going to learn another options or commands available in string package. And also you can uh, practice and I will, pro I will assign a task to you. Please practice from your end and let me know if you have any or queries or concerns uh, or while developing a task, if you face any issues, please drop me a message in the comment session, I'll try to get back to you with the required details or I'll try to make another video on your queries. So let's get started. So today we are going to cover all remaining string operations and also we are going to implement uh, creating or creating a CAPTCHA dynamically. So let's suppose whenever if you are transferring money in a bank account or if you are logging to any secure web application, you need to enter the CAPTCHA. So CAPTCHA is a dynamic click. It will, it will, uh, you know, available uh, and it will change dynamically in any web applications. So today we are going to generate CAPTCHA uh, dynamically. So we can also, uh, so CAPTCHA and OTP is different. So CAPTCHA is a combination of uh, numerical and characters, but OTP is uh, supports only number data types. The OTP might be five character, five digits or six digits of number. So we are going to cover both OTP and CAPTCHA in today's session. So let's get started. So today we are going to learn assign and reverse. And also we are going to cover the real time concept, something like generating CAPTCHA. Oh, sorry generating OTP or CAPTCHA, okay? Let's see. So CAPTCHA is it's a combination of alpha numerics, like something like CAPTCHA, sometimes you may get small c, capital C, c three, four, e. This is how it is going to generate a CAPTCHA dynamically whenever if you're trying to log into a secured web application or banking, internet banking. Also, uh, sometimes you may see the CAPTCHA or sometimes you may see the OTP. OTP is a numerical digits uh, or something like one, two. This is how it is going to generate a OTP. So this is the main difference between CAPTCHA and OTP. So in this session, we are going to cover assign activity and reverse activity, and we are going to focus on um, CAPTCHA and OTP generation dynamically. So let's see, uh, let's get started. So let me clear all the existing code and let me drag and drop assign. So we have already covered how to assign a variable by using variable panel. So we have created a VNAME variable by assigning some specific value to the variable. So this is the second way by using actions and a string command package we can assign by using the string action. So here I am going to um, assign Mm, let's say a 360 i'm going to assign a 360 so here what you can do you can assign the output to a pre already available variables in the variable panel or else you can create a new variable by clicking on new variable so here you can see that whenever if you click a variable from here you no need to provide the data type explicitly so we have already covered this concept in the previous session so let me assign variable name as v reverse. So we are going to find reverse to here. So let me click on save. So I'll use message box to display the value. Message box. This is how we can assign any value to a specific variable in the string data type. So a string data type package allows alpha numerical and special characters. So let me click on insert value and let me choose V reverse. 
Let me click on insert. So let me save. In order to run this task, we need to click on run button. So let me click on run button. This is how we can assign a value to a variable. In a real time, we are not supposed to hard code any value in the variable co uh, component or uh, uh, by using an operation. So all the value if you have to assign it to a variable dynamically, we need to read the value from either CSV file or Excel file file, XML file. So in the upcoming sessions, we are going to cover CSV, Excel and PDF and CSV packages. So there we are going to learn more real time scenarios, concepts, how to read the value and assign the value to a variable dynamically. So here you can see A360 value is assigned to a variable. So let me click on close. Now what I will do, I will perform reverse operation. So let me go to string and let me drag and drop reverse. Uh, so F2 or reverse I assign the output to the same uh, variable only. Let me click on save. Let me copy paste the message box and let me drag and drop it to here. So let me run this task again. So it will reverse the given string. So here, we provided a string, right? so it will just like 638. Let's see. So this is our actual input. And here you can see the reverse output 063A. This is how we can perform assign activity and as well as reverse activity. So uh, let's suppose if you want to replace something. Okay. So let's go to the source string and you can find you can provide the source string and you can find what are the keyword you want to uh, you know replace so uh, please practice from your end and please try to uh, work with uh, other remaining options like uh, find activity generate random string So please try to convert the uh, string data type to Boolean data type, number data type, and trim. So trim is nothing but if you want to remove uh, trailing and leading spaces uh, uh, in a given string. And uh, you can also try all these different options. And let me know if you face any issues while developing this code. Please drop me a message in the comment section. I I'll try to provide a, uh, required details or I'll try to make another video on remaining concepts. So today we are going to focus on real time concepts that is um, uh, generating a random capture or OTP. So let's get started. So first of all, what we'll try to do, we'll try to generate a capture. Okay, so uh, to generate a capture, we need to go to string package. Why? Because so it is a combination of alphanumeric. So uh, it contains string data types and numeric data types it only supports string data type only supports both the things okay so let me go to string and let me drag and drop generate random string so let me sorry um, let me drag and drop generate random string so in this string so here you can choose the length of uh, Basically, the capture length would be five characters or six characters. So let's say six and let me assign it to oh, VNAME for time being and let me click on save. Okay, so now let me use message box to display VNAME. So let me click on VNAME and let me insert. So uh, let me save and run this task. So whatever the task you have uh, implemented, so it will automatically generate capture with a six digit. It includes both alphanumeric characters and capital and small letters. Let's see, uh, let me click on run.
now it will have a dynamic job. So here you can see H M J U E J. It includes both small letters, lowercase letters, and uppercase. Letters. So let's try to let's try to run this task again. This time it will generate another capture dynamic. See. So here you can see it is the combination of kind of characters. You can see Z and B lowercase letters, three is numerical digit, and Q and M are again uppercase. This is how it is going to generate capture dynamically. Even in real time, so they are going to follow the same rules and restrictions to generate a uh the no capture so here we need to provide any combination for case for case for numeric so it will automatically generate all things okay so only one thing you need to provide over here that is length of the capture so how many characters you want to generate as a capture that is only the thing you need to provide as a input over here so remaining things automation anywhere a360 itself it uh This time it's going to generate another letter. Here you are in uh, letter C is lowercase and one and E is again uppercase letter. So let me click on close. So this is how we can generate a captcha by using a string. So let's suppose if you want to generate OTP. So OTP is you know all our numerical data type characters. There is uh, uh, it, it will be a character while generating a OTP. So most of the times in uh, while transferring money or any banking transactions, we can see uh, OTP thing. So we will learn what if, how to generate a dynamic OTP now. So uh, to generate, in order to generate a OTP, we need to go to number package. So we are going to cover number package in the upcoming session. So as of now, we, we, are, we have covered message box variables data types, and we are still in string data type only. So in the upcoming sessions, we are going to cover Boolean number dictionary all data types. So in the number data type, again, we are going to discuss all these things. So we don't need to worry, but uh, so for time being, what we'll do, we'll generate a OTP. Okay, let me go to number data type. And here you can select random. So here you can provide the range. So from where you want to start and how, how to start all these things, okay? So accept decimals, and negative values including in the range so it accepts both the decimals and negative values as well so let me provide uh, one to uh, 10 let me provide one to 10 and let me assign it to a output variable v length so uh, let me use message box to display the OTP. So we have already discussed message box only supports string data type. It won't support number data type. So to convert the number to string, we need to use two string functionality under number package. So under number package, what you need to do, you need to use dot two string functionality to convert from number data type to string data type. And here you have to provide your number that is VLAN and you are going to assign it to your output variable prompt assignment to display. So let me press functional F2 and let me choose prompt assignment. So this concept already we have covered in previous session. So let's suppose if you want to display uh, number data type directly without converting from number to string explicitly. So let's see how we can uh, use so we can avoid one line of code this is very important for a developer we need to reduce the length of the code okay so then uh, it should be precise and it should work as expected so uh, we, we should try to reduce the number of lines in the code so then without using dot to string functionality how we can convert number to string i'll show it to you so just press uh dollar symbol and then what are all the type here we are display number data type right so v length here before this the dollar symbol you need to press dot to string functionality so then it will automatically convert 
from number to string in the message box display command itself internally. So let me click on save and let me run this task. So it will generate a OTP. Let's see. So in this session, we have already covered how to generate a camera and how to generate a OTP and also we covered the string command package. Please try to uh, Sorry, it is generating only one character. Let's see. So how to generate a six uh, character uh, or six digits. So it is generating single digit uh, OTP, but uh, our um, uh, target is to generate six digit OTP. So here, uh, what we can do, we can append this output to generate a six digit or else what we can do, we can provide a range over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and nine, 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 nine. So the, this is how we can provide the range to generate a 60 seat OTP at a time, or else what we can do, we can uh, append each and every single digit into six times and we can uh, display the OTP. So this is the easiest way to generate 60 seat OTP by using number package. So let me click on save. In order to run this task, we need to click on run or debug. So let me click on run. Now this time it is going to generate 60 digit OTP dynamically. So every time, whenever if you run this task, generate a random. Okay, here now it is 971197. So now we are able to generate 60 digit OTP. Let's try to run the onset and the OTP. Let me face any issues. Please don't miss the comments. Okay, so now we're generating 183903. So we have learned how to generate a OTP and capture how to, uh, okay. So we can also implement real time concept like how to validate what let's suppose uh, if you are trying to log in in many banking websites or, or you are trying to open on in the bank website is going to generate OTP. So we have covered how to generate a OTP as of now. Then later end user is going to provide or he is going to input the OTP number in that uh, particular input box. So back end bank is going to validate whether the OTP is matching with the generated OTP or not. So that is that validation also we can perform in automation anywhere A360 by using if conditions. So uh, as per our agenda, we are going to cover each and every topic. So we have covered message boxes, variables, data types, and next uh, topic we are going to cover folders under loops and if conditions we are going to validate this OTP so whether uh, the entered OTP and generated OTP are matching matched or not so we are going to cover each and everything so here we are going to learn fundamentals and basics of the automation anywhere a360 and parallelly we are also working how to implement these concepts in real time scenarios as well. So please subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon. That's why you'll be notified whenever I upload a new videos and series on automation anywhere A360. I hope you are able to understand what is data type and what is variables, how to declare a data type variables, how to assign the required value to output variable, how to generate a OTP and captcha. Please practice and let me know if you face any issues. Please subscribe and share it to your friends who are ready to learn automation in a very 360 thank you